So let's examine the following example that will deal with applying Ohm's law. So suppose a 120 volt battery is placed into a closed electric circuit that contains a device with a resistance of 24 ohms. So in part A we want to calculate the resistance, in part B we want to calculate how much energy leaves the battery every single 10 minutes. So let's begin with part A. So part A is essentially an application of Ohm's law. The voltage is equal to the product of the resistance and the electric current. So we take this equation, rearrange it and solve for our electric current. So the electric current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. The voltage is 120 volt, resistance is 24 ohms. Divide these two numbers, we get 5 amps. So our electric current within our electric circuit is 5 amps. Let's move on to part B. Calculate how much energy leaves the battery every single 10 minutes. So to calculate the energy, we have to calculate the change in our electric charge. So how much electric charge leaves that battery every single 10 minutes. So we apply the definition of our average current. So the average current which was calculated in part A is equal to the change in our electric charge divided by the change in time. So our change in time is given to be 10 minutes. So we take this, rearrange itself for our change in Q. We see the change in Q is equal to the product of the change in time and our I. So our I is given to be 5 amps. Our change in time is 10 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds per minute. The minutes cancel and we're left with 600 multiplied by 5 gives us 3000 coulombs. So 3000 coulombs leaves our battery every single 10 minutes. So recall that the change in our energy is equal to the product of the voltage and our quantity of electric charge that travels through that voltage difference. So the voltage difference is given to be 120 volts. The Q was calculated in this step. So 3000 coulombs multiplied by 120 volts gives us 360,000 joules of energy is required by the battery every single 10 minutes. 